Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, back with a video on software defined radio. And I just like to explore different things. And this is one of those videos uh, where I'll try to explore something that I just figured out or I found out. And I'm sharing it with you guys. All right. So the idea is quite simple. Uh, I don't know if you can clearly see this. I have my hack RF that is connected to my laptop. On the other port, uh, I have my RTL SDR dongle is connected through the USB port and this is the antenna that is there. So what I'm trying to do is this, that I have uh, same laptop, I am using two different software. The first software that I'm using is called SigDigger and I have configured my hack RF with that software which is SigDigger. So when I look at, when I go here uh, on this screen, on the settings that I have chosen hack RF and I'm using hack RF in a receiving mode which is this now on the other software I can uh, which the, the other software that I'm using that is actually my SDR angel so SDR angel this is the software that I'm using and I'm gonna configure receiving device as being my RTL SDR dongle so I'm gonna refresh this list and uh, I'm going to select my RTL SDR from here and I'm going to press OK. All right, now I have, so what I'm trying to do is this. I want to look at the spectrum of my key fob using two different software and two different platforms. That's what I wanted to explore and I want to see uh, how does the noise floor differs as compared to, uh, uh, to, to hack RF as compared to RTL SDR dongle as compared to what does the software reads off from it uh, from these devices. So this one is configured to use RTL SDR dongle. The antenna is right here and on my left hand side SIG digger is configured to use hack RF. So I'm going to change this frequency because this key fob is operating at 315 megahertz. I have already explored this and I also made a video on it as well. So I'm going to change this frequency to, to 315 megahertz and I'm going to try to see the spectrum. Uh, this one, the default, I think the sample rate is from, it's also about one mega, one mega sample from 314 mega all the way up to 315 mega. So we'll try to uh, receive the signal that is coming out from my key fob and try to see how does the noise floor looks like. So this is the spectrum for it. Uh, I'm going to increase again a little bit here and I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit play here. So this right now, whatever the signal that is coming in onto my RTL SDR dongle. So I would assume my noise floor is somewhere around. Let's see uh, if I were to do this. So my noise floor right here is somewhere around negative 60 dB. And let's see what type of a signal I would get. And I'm going to turn this on as well. So right now the noise floor is quite down somewhere around negative 60, negative uh, 55 dB to be exact, negative 55. So noise floor looks the same if you guys can see it uh, right here. So this this noise floor in SIG digger is about negative 55 dB almost. Uh, this is just a center frequency spike. You can just uh, close this. So there is nothing going on here right now. Uh, but there are some signals as you can see my RTL SDR dongle is picking up uh, somewhere along this at 315 somewhere. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to use my key fob to transmit a signal. And this is what a spectrum looks like. All right. As you can clearly see, this spectrum is quite wide as compared to here on SIG digger. This is like confined here. Uh, that's the bandwidth of this signal. Here you're seeing a lot of the activity that is going on. As you can see this, I mean, here you're not seeing much, but here you can see the on off ASK that is happening, or uh, amplitude shift key. And my noise floor is jumping all the way up to about negative 10 dB. Here you're getting about negative 35 dB. Of course, there's a perspective to it. I have to change the settings and all of that. Uh, don't get me on that. Uh, just, just I just wanted to make a comparison. Uh, if I want to capture this signal and I want to save this signal and then try to replay this again and then try to analyze this signal. But um, I can clearly see here this thing is showing a wider signal. 
because I'm pressing on my key fob as you can see this. So that's the video I would I, I wanted to share that I wanted to show you that how does it look like in two different platforms and things like that. I'm not going into the technical details why this spectrum looks like this and why this looks like this. I'm just gonna leave it. I just, this is some, something that I explore, so I just wanted to share it with you guys. So at the, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I found this to be interesting, so I decided to share it with you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.